So this video is a preview to my interview with professional poker player Mark Herm. My name's Timothy Schultz. I'm actually a Powerball winner, and I was super excited to sit down with Mark. Are you listening? So this video is a preview to a recent interview I did with professional poker player Mark Herm. My name's Timothy Schultz. I'm actually a Powerball winner in 1999. I won the lottery before going back to college to study film, journalism, and broadcast news. And I'm now combining my experience with these things with my desire to meet and interview other people that I find fascinating. And professional poker player Mark Herm is one of these people. And I'm super excited to share a preview to this interview with you in this video. Before I get to that, if you are new to my channel, go ahead and consider subscribing because I do interviews with all kinds of people that I find fascinating, including other people that have come into sudden wealth. So do consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon to be notified when these interviews come out. But this is a preview to this interview with professional poker player Mark Herm. You know, back in 1999, I won the Powerball. I know what that's like. I've interviewed quite a few other lottery winners on this channel, as well as other people who have come into Sudden Wealth, but I've never ever met a professional poker player. I've met many people who play it, you know, in their basement or in their garage or online, people that love poker, but I've never actually met someone that does that for a living, like a real professional. So I was honored to sit down with Mark Herm to pick his brain about what it's really like to do that. I mean, how do you keep the quintessential poker face if there is such a thing? Does he believe in that? And you know what, I even asked him about what his strategy is when he plays and mentally, there's so much that goes on mentally uh, when you play poker and you know where his mind is at and I even got to ask him his thoughts about the law of attraction energy the power of the mind and fate and how those things do or don't play into a hand of poker when you're playing poker and his answers were quite fascinating he has some very definitive opinions about these things and uh, I just found it very, very intriguing. So without further ado, here is a preview to my interview with professional poker player, Mark Herm. So you are a professional poker player. Like you do this for a living. Is that Correct. right? Correct. Yeah. So how did you get into this? So it started off um, just being like a massive interest slash passion of mine. Uh, probably in around 2003, it became very popular on TV. That's when the World Series of Poker was on ESPN. Um, a few of the poker movies that got really popular came out. Uh, Rounders was one of them. And that was, that was kind of the quote-unquote poker boom um, at that time. And I was, in, I was a senior in high school when that was all happening. And I, I just kind of started watching it on TV, and I was fascinated by it. And, you know, it didn't start off as anything that I was, like, intending to make money at or anything. But I was... I'm a very like kind of a obsessive person. And when I'm into something, I, you know, I just put everything, it was my only interest really, you know? So I, I read absolutely every book I could on it. Um, I watched it on TV all the time. I played as much as I could. Um, and it kind of just went from there. And have you been on some of the, you know, like in some of the tournaments on ESPN and that sort of thing? Yeah, I've been on TV maybe three or four times. And I, I all the stuff that you see on TV, I play, like the World Series of Poker in Vegas and stuff like that. All of those things I've, I've been in. And my group of friends, I have, like, the group of friends that I'm with kind of is among some of the top poker players in the, in the world, for sure. So I've, I've kind of seen it all. I, I know that, that world of things. Mm -hmm. And how is that different when you're playing on that level than when you're playing on the level of, you know, someone just playing with their friends in the garage. I mean, it'd be quite different if you're playing on a professional level, but how is that, you know, is it, is it more stressful? What, what is that like in your, what's your mindset? How is that different? It, it never really was stressful to me, honestly. It's the number one difference in it is when you're playing professionally, you're not, a good professional should not be attached to the results, but they should be 100% concerned about the way they are playing, their output. You know what I'm saying? Like it, the, the, the manner in which they played hand. So let's just say I'm dealt 
you know, a really good hand, like pocket aces. My goal in that hand isn't to win the hand. My goal in that hand is to maximize the profit I could make in that hand, right? And that may result in me losing the hand, if that makes sense. It's like kind of complicated, but but I have to make the, the right mathematical, I'll say, for lack of a better term, play. And that's all I can control, right? And that, like I said, sometimes will result in me losing. And a recreational player will often not do that. They will often do things that just allow them possibly to win the hand or possibly not to lose all of their chips. When in reality, the correct play was you just lose all of your chips there because nine times out of ten, you're going to be right or whatever. So it's really just looking at it um, from that angle rather than looking at the short term results. And, and that's that's not an easy thing to do necessarily. You know, the, the best of the pros can do it very well. And the not so great pros have a problem and they and they lose and they get emotional. And, you know, that's just going to lead to, to negative things. Right. And, and what do you say to the people out there that I mean, cause there, there's a large group of people out there that are completely anti gambling that you know, think that it's awful and it's just eroding at people that are um, not educated enough or they're, you know, there's all these, there are different theories for why gambling is terrible. And then there's, you know, advocates for it as well. But what do you say to, to those people? Uh, I do. I don't think it, gambling is a particularly good thing, but, you know, just like anything else, like, like my, my stance on pretty much all drugs uh, would be that, you know, I don't see a problem with them being legalized uh, there and, you know, and gambling I'm doing is the same thing. And and I don't know that it should be illegal, but I definitely know that not much good comes out of it, honestly. But people, you know, people, you know, deserve the freedom, I, I believe, to do it, to do what they want. But in terms of people that um, would view my prof profession as negatively, I would it doesn't really bother me. It just makes me kind of think that they're not really seeing it correctly. Like they're just unaware. When you're playing poker, how much of that is luck versus skill, would you say? So the way I'll describe it is this. In any given tournament, almost anyone that plays can win. Let's say it's a tournament of 100 people. You probably have 10 people that are like close to having no chance of winning because they're that bad. Like they're that, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're just making plays that are just completely uh, horrendous and like just have no chance. But most of the people have some shot. But let's just say I'm a professional. Let's say I win that tournament instead of winning it one out of a hundred times, which would be the average. I would probably win it one out of twenty-five times. And then let's say the recreational player instead of winning one out of a hundred times, which would be the average, probably wins something like one out of three hundred times, right? So just run those numbers. You know what I'm saying? Just do it and see. You know, if you ran it through a random number generator. You know, that's how much I'm going to win. But in any given tournament, I could lose easily. You know, like it, it's it's just math. So if that if that kind of sheds some light on. It. So so the short term of it, there's tons of variance involved. Um, but long term, mathematically, the winners should always win. I won the Powerball back in 1999 and I had a very vivid dream before it happened and strongly believed that I was going to win and uh, told other people that and then it happened and so there are these people that tell me that it was the law of attraction i think is what it's called and there's a whole group yeah. of people that believe that that's what happened. and i'm not the only person there are other people that have had experiences like that and then there are other people that think it was fate and then there are other people that think it's just mere coincidence but i just find the whole thing very interesting um that you know it's just an interesting phenomenon because i'm not the you know there are other people that have had very strange experiences i don't know if you'd consider it strange but you know things that yeah I, to them. I, I 100 percent relate and, I, and I, I definitely have had a lot of things happen in my life where I, i've i've maybe not envisioned them but i felt so confident that something was going to happen and whenever i did that thing happened like when, when i you know maybe went into a tournament thinking that you know there was one i won a tournament in vegas one of the biggest tournaments i won and it was like there was like 400 people left in the tournament and I just like had this feeling that I was going to win and I won. I mean, there's there's definitely been times probably where I felt that to some degree and it didn't happen. But I think whenever I felt extremely confidently about something going to happen, that it did kind of manifest itself. And I don't, I don't know how to explain that. When you win a major prize, uh, do people come, especially if you do so publicly, uh, you know, in the World Series of Poker or on television, 
do you have people that sort of come out of the woodwork like they do with some lottery winners or is it different? So that was a preview to my interview with professional poker player Mark Herm. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the like button and let me know in the comments what do you think of the power of the mind and fate versus law of attraction and how that can affect um, everyday life or in this case a poker game. What do you think of that? Let me know in the comments. I love checking out your comments. I will put a link to the full entire interview with Mark Herm in its entirety below so go ahead and check that out as well as a link to this Sudden Wealth podcast web series that I'm doing with other people because um, there are many people that I have interviewed and many interviews that are coming out depending on when you watch this video but if you want to watch more interviews click the link below but thank you so much for watching and as always thank you for your support <laughs>